All right, you guys. All right, y'all. Let's say together, it's Myth Monday. I am so excited. I love this day. Do you guys? Do? I do. I love being able to help make skincare easier, um, help make its ingredients easier, help us understand the products and help it just be more understandable for you. So that's why I look forward to today. I look forward to Thursdays when we do our deep dives. So let's get right to it. This week, oh, you know what? Let's see if I can change this real quick before. Give me just a second. There we go. All right, so this week we are talking about sensitive skin. Sad face right here, womp womp, because it's not fun to have sensitive skin. I know I personally have it and um, it takes some, some different products to kind of help work with it and treat it. So this week, today, I'm not gonna do one. I'm not even gonna do two but I'm gonna do three myths about sensitive skin. But before we dive into uh, the myths, let's briefly talk about what sensitive skin is. So sensitive skin is skin that's easily irritated by different factors that are generally tolerated well by more balanced skin. Those kind of irritants are typically skincare products or high or low temperatures, wind, etc. So, what causes sensitive skin? A lot of different things can cause it. Anything from skin disorders to allergic skin reactions, such as eczema or rosacea, or you know, allergic contact dermatitis, where you've um, gotten you into contact with something that you're allergic to overly dry skin or injured skin that can no longer protect the nerve endings um, and that leads to skin reactions or excessive exposure to skin damaging environmental factors such as sun, wind, excessive heat, except excessive cold. There can also be some genetic factors that play in age, gender, race differences in skin sensitivity, those are all less defined, but still may play a role in whether or not you have sensitive skin. So just something to keep in mind as we're going forward throughout the week. I'm gonna do a much lar much deeper dive into sensitive skin, what it actually is, um, what the causes are, what are some great ways that we can treat it later on in the week. But today we're gonna to talk about our myths. So let's dive into those myths. First, the first myth is retinoids are off limits, and that is false. We talked about retinoids a lot last, last week. Um, anyone can use retinoids. Now, if you're putting retinoic acid or retinol straight on your face um, as someone with sensitive skin, that is not good. So you're gonna wanna layer it with moisturizers, or you're gonna wanna use a retinol with an A that um, has been made where it's gonna be very easy for your sensitive skin to um, use it and not get irritated. So for example, our intensive renewing serum has been made with that in mind for sensitive skin users to be able to use it. So it's got um, some proprietary technology around it to help sensitive skin not become irritated with it. So that is the first myth. Yes, you can use retinoids if you, are, you have sensitive skin, just be careful how you use them. The second myth is that hypoallergenic means non-irritating. And that one is yeah, sort of true, sort of false. Here's the reason why, because there is no kind of standard definition for what the word hypoallergenic hypoallergenic means. So it doesn't necessarily mean that it's gentle or free of allergens. Ooh, something just got my eye, sorry. So if you are allergic to specific ingredients that are in the products, even if they are hypoallergenic, you can still be allergic to them. It's just for hypoallergenic, it tends to be, these are the ones that free of allergens that most people have. So even if you are allergic to something in the hyperallergenic products, you can still 
um, break out or have an allergic reaction to them. So for example, an example of that is our Soothe Regimen, which is great for people who have sensitive skin and healing those sensitive skins. However, if you have a gluten aller allergy, then there are going to be some steps in the Soothe Regimen that you will not be able to use because it contains gluten. So again, something may force sensitive skin, but if you're allergic to something, it can um, cause damage. So just be aware of that. All right, our third and final um, myth today is people with sensitive skin cannot exfoliate. And that is true, but also false. So here's what I will say to that. People with rosacea or people who may be allergic to certain ingredients in exfoliators or more harsh exfoliators should skip them because you will need those dead skin cells to act as a barrier to block irritants. However, if you have acne prone sensitive skin, like me, my I have sensitive skin, but I'm also very acne prone, then I need to exfoliate to get those dead skin cells off so that I can clean up my pores and not break out. So what I have to do is make sure that I'm using gentle exfoliators. And our unblemished gentle exfoliating wash is a good example of that. I use it every morning and every night. I sparingly use our um, microdermabrasion paste. I do use it, but I maybe use it like once a week. And if I'm really flaring up, I won't use it at all. And I use it at night in case it turns me red. So just make sure if you do have sensitive skin, but you want to exfoliate because of your acne, then you use a gentle exfoliator and then you can still exfoliate. There you go. So, okay, that's it. This is a quick one today. Those are my three myths, myths about sensitive skin busted. So if you have sensitive skin or know someone who does and you are looking for some help, just comment below, let me know, and or shoot me a message and I will work with you to find something that can help you with your sensitive skin in your budget range, okay? And then that can be a lot of things. There's a lot of products that we have that can help um, in all the different budget ranges. So just let me know and we will find something together that works for you. All right, you guys, have a fantastic rest of your evening and I will see you later this week as we talk about all things sensitive skin. Have a good night.